Hey, We're filming the whole thing. We're going to be looking at the front ends that Superformance puts together. Now these front ends are world class and definitely some of the best ever seen in Australia. Now we're here with Grant. Grant, tell us a little bit about these front ends and how it all came to be. Superformance got into these front ends back in 2019. We had a customer with a really high end LH Tirana come into the shop. He'd already had an independent front end fitted and he was a guy that liked to race and push his car and drive it like he stole it out at Lakeside. He said the car only handled marginally better than it did originally. So just like any classic old school car. Yes. There's body roll, yeah. oversteering, understeering, yeah. the, the typical issues that a classic muscle car would normally have. So we discussed this with some industry experts, people at Fulcrum Suspension here in Australia. Uh, we had the guys at Petters involved as well. So that's a, probably one of the big parts about what the guys here at Superformers put together is that this front end isn't just tailored for them to fine tune, it's tailored for, for normal tyre shops and just normal car guys to Correct. tinker and yeah. play with, isn't it? Certainly. So we're here with Todd at the moment. Now Todd's actually the man behind all of these front ends. He's put them together, he's designed them, and it's thanks to him that they actually exist. Yeah, so essentially it's done in various stages. I guess we did a pencil drawing. For example, we started with the Tirana front end. So on the Tirana front end, we had a OEM front end out of two vehicles. So after you've done all the drawings on AutoCAD, yep. then you run through a 3D system that allows you to, to test it on the computer. And when all the CAD's done through the computer, we can do all our own torsional testing through the computer. We can do movement, we can do systems, fluid, put forces on different points of the ball joint. 15 minutes later. Steering arms, the brake, the stub axle, we can test the whole thing through the CAD before we even hit cut on the table, essentially. It's like a Car Geeks video game, really, isn't it? Very technical video game. Yeah. So from the testing in the CAD, we make the product, the front end, and in the CAD we also make fixture jigs to make each component of the front end. Right. So once you've got that jig, I noticed that in the special rooms that we've got set up yep. now in the shop, you set up your jig and all the bits that have been cut out by the plasma cutter are yep. all just placed in there and they just begin to get welded together. Cross member, basically we've got our fixture table. On top of the table we've got a fixture plate which essentially holds all of our plates that are cut out and our centre backbone and our machined and threaded ends. So the fixture plate bolts to the table and then essentially where the lower control arms bolt into the cross member we use those points as fixture points also. Essentially bolting it all together as if there were arms in there, we use machine spaces. Uh, then it's all clamped back down to the fixture table before you weld it and you weld it and then throw that one out, throw another one straight in, weld it. So pretty much aimed for speed and mass production and a quality every time. Another part of the front ends is the control arm. So with the control arms, we buy in heavy walled tube out of Sydney. Uh, we use one inch bar, inch and a quarter bar. We cut it to length, calculate our folding distances. In our 
Bailey bender, we then bend the tube. Um, pretty much everything's automated. We set 60 degrees and we know our bend back tolerance. So we hit it, it'll go, and we can do 20 of the same bend straight after now. It's all CNC operated. outer upper control arm and coil over combination brackets that we make. Again, everything's done in fixture. So we've got one table where we're doing the cross members, the other table we're doing these combination brackets. Essentially, tack weld it all together with a TIG, you take it out of the jig, you reclaim it on the other side of the bench, you do multiples of that, and then afterwards you come back and you MIG weld all eight sets, essentially. So once the front end is finished, it's yes. put together, it's been welded, it's been cut, and now it's ready. Yes. All these parts are now to go on it. Um, if we start with the parts, the steering rack is from Foaming River in the USA, and that's right hand drive for our mark out here. The shock absorbers come from a company called Alden in America. The brakes and stubs are from Wilwood in the USA, and they probably don't really need any introduction. The ball joints we use are Moog. And then the steering bushes are from Super Pro, which is the guys at Fulcrum that gave us so much support. And they've even custom made a bush unique for our front end with an impregnated washer. And this is probably one of the most beautiful little bushes I've ever seen, isn't it? Will you shut up? And the amazing thing about this is actually made right here locally in Brisbane by Fulcrum. So it's pretty much, apart from the Woolwood brakes and the suspension, it's 100% Australian made. Correct, yes. So we cover a lot of the American and Australian badge pickup trucks from Ford and Chevrolet. And we cover a lot of the Australian classic cars from GMH and Ford. And we also do one-offs as well by request. So the range is getting bigger all the time. Each one takes a lot of design behind the scenes and then each one has to have custom racks and tables and all sorts of things to bring it together. So Superformance has put these together so that you can just buy them directly from the shop and install them into the car. So which cars are the front ends tailored to at the moment? We've got the LH LX Tirana in your GM products. We've got the very early Falcons, XK starting through to XL, MP, K. We do all the American pickup trucks from post-World War II, like 48 through to about 1990, wow. in both Ford and GM. Some are weld in and some are bolt in, depending on which vehicle it is. So that's it for today's episode. As you can see, Superformance has all the right product if you wanted to steer better, go around the corners, and of course, if you want to do track days or even just to drive better, Certainly. this is what these front ends tailor. Make sure you join us next week. Hit below to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Chris.